there's a caller. What the? Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what's up, guys? What's, what's up? Happening? What's happening? I thought I'd just call because nobody was calling. Oh, thank okay. you. I thought you wanted just to hear my voice in person. Who's it? <laughs> I, I, I was gonna ask. Uh, <laughs> who's this late night AM DJ you guys got on there? Don't say it, man. That's I, know, but he's, I feel calm Michael, when he's Michael, talking. Michael's about ready to drop some slow jams tonight. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> about right. <laughs> who's this? Uh, so I, uh, my name is Billy. I called you guys uh, last week. I think. Okay. Well, what what did you call about last time? Just to refresh our memory. I, about, I was I was asking about Chano's uh his uh separates that he got. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a difference. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I mean, I I don't really, I, you know, I was kind of wondering. You guys were talking about this uh this BBC dip or whatever mm-hmm. on these clip speakers, and I have the THX Ultra Twos from mm-hmm. I don't know, they're what are they, twenty years old now. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. And uh. I was wondering if those have them or not, you know, or is that different because they had to adhere to a THX spec or is that, you know, is that, is that something that like THX requires? You guys know anything about that? I know that's super <laughs> secretive about that kind of stuff. No, THX is, from what I understand, they make people sign NDAs and their requirements aren't very steadfast. Um, yeah. I think that kind of, it varies a little bit, not even within like a specific category, from what I've been told by manufacturers, they may submit a product for the same rating, but because they're different products, then they can both, I'm butchering this, basically like, let, let's assume a floor standard versus a bookshelf, right? So that to get THX Ultra, mm-hmm. they may have different requirements for both types of speaker. That, that's what I've been told. I don't know how up to date that information is, but unfortunately, nobody else knows either because they yeah, don't. They don't, they don't allow anybody to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Michael went and talked to the, you know, arguably the guys who are pushing THX right now, and I'm sure they won't tell you anything. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> well, no, I, I spoke with um, Lori Fincham. I mean, he was VP at uh, R and D for THX for years, and that was kind of the, yeah. the impression that I got from him is that they don't make that information publicly known. Now, I didn't outright ask him, um, and I guess that's something I could ask him if I was curious about, but he also may not be at liberty to say either. Yeah. So. No, no, I don't think anyone is, but I, I'm just kind of curious. I know, you know, I know like regular clip speakers have that, but I don't know if mine did or not. I wish I, wish I could send them to you, Aaron, because uh, I've never seen anyone measure them. <laughs> I mean, you could just have Joe come in and measure him remotely. You can have Joe. If you have a U-Mic 1 and an REW, you can... Yeah, you can measure him, too. You can measure him. Just to get an idea if it has that dip, right? So, I mean, you don't have to be, like, extremely accurate to see if there's a dip or not, right? It's got to... I have have measured him. Okay. I mean, they measure measure relatively flat. Okay. um, With with my U-Mic that I've used. Uh Yeah, the THX Ultra 2s were... Um, to me, they don't. They're kind of a more laid back sound, so I don't think they have the typical clips, mm-hmm. you know, rise yeah. in the. In the I know. Treble and I remember the, what people was. Uh, who was it? Corey was saying that it's more of like a a theater, like specific, or like a theater speaker. So, right. so it's yeah. not going to have a whole lot of character to yeah. it. Character. It's not going to add a whole lot of stuff. Well, you know, like they're. Well, I and, and I don't really know. It's bad. It's I'm. It's a bad reference for me because I've been listening to these speakers for literally most of my life. They used to belong to my dad. Yeah, uh, he's okay. still alive. He just gave yeah. them to me. Awesome. Man. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but oh, so your dad I, doesn't I, like you? Okay. I was. Wow. What's that? I said. So your dad doesn't like you? That's why he gave you those speakers? No, no. Oh. Dad, it was a dad, joke. He's so mean, isn't he? Mean. It was a yes. joke. I don't know anything about the speakers. I don't even know what they look like. It was just a yeah. joke. Well, I've had the speakers <laughs> down in the bottom to show you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. Right. These here. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I always looked at that thing and be like, oh, one day, one so, day, I'll have the thirteen thousand dollars system. But it, well, it's funny because I was. Uh, anyway, so I haven't really listened to any other speakers, so I have really have no reference. <laughs> you know, I just listen yeah. to these speakers, and I'll listen to like a sound bar or whatever, and I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't really, ha- I don't really have like a frame of, yeah. you know, I'm not like you guys. I don't have a bunch of bookshelves coming in now. Right, right. So, yeah. Well, uh, as far as your question about the THX thing, though, I think there's certain things yeah. that you can kind of, uh, I don't know, deduce, I guess, from their certification, yeah. like the fact that they have different room size certifications, right? So for this right. size room, and they sit, and from this distance, it's approved, right? For yeah. this yeah. distance, so. To me, that's saying okay. They're looking at uh, the SPL, right? Yep. Right. They're looking at, you know, of course, it can't be playing those S, you know, at that volume with all kinds of distortion. Right. Yeah. Distortion. Mm-hmm. Um, I and and you can tell because let's say Monolith has a THX or they have have multiple THX subwoofers, where right. they're the two modes are THX and then extended, right? And extended mode typically yeah. lets the bass go out further. Right? Um, right. So to right. me, that's saying THX probably said, okay, when you extend the bass out further, that doesn't pass our, uh, you know, it, it's a little too much distortion. Even yeah, though may, maybe somebody don't. else would be okay with it, but they're not. So, you know, I'm kind of like putting think, the pieces together. They, like, they seem to be kind of anti infrasonic sound and stuff like that. I, I don't know. It seems I, like to be something they don't, they don't care about. I, and, they and, seem to see it as wasted power. Yeah, and the other thing is you were asking if THX certification has anything to do with the frequency response. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I think that if that were the case, then almost everything that's THX certified would measure pretty flat or, you know, at least similar. And I don't know if that's the case. Are those monoprice THX speakers, are those flat? Aaron, have you you've Aaron measured those? Some, right? Yeah. Yeah. Monoprice. Uh, the- the mini monitor, you know, honestly, I just don't yeah. remember if it was or not. To be to be honest with you, I really don't remember, and that was just not too long ago. Oh, <laughs> and you, you just you've been knocking out so many reviews. But Aaron, oh, if no. you go to Aaron's Audio Corner dot com, yeah, yeah, all the measurements yeah. are there. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I want to say it, it's probably okay, but again, I I just don't remember. And yeah. I'm I'm getting them confused because I did the encores, I think, right after that. So there's a lot of overlap for me and my brain. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know which, uh, one, which ones are the encores? Are those the ones with the wave guys? The, yeah, yeah. The new one they just so, came out with? Right, yeah. So I'm looking at the... Yeah, the the mini monitors aren't bad. So they do have a, a bit of a boost to treble. Uh, they got a weird dip at around like 6K or so. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But for the most part, they seem pretty linear. I'd say they're within like plus or minus 2 dB. But is yeah. that a monolith thing, though? Because almost like all the monolith stuff seems to have kind of like a pattern right i've noticed like uh, all of them kind yeah. of measure pretty decent yeah i, I don't I, know if it's a thx know. or a monolith thing that's the question right i mean the, for me what makes a thx speaker a thx speaker is generally it's not going to make much noise below 80 hertz and right really yeah. really loud it's going to get really really yeah. loud i think you got that not one. a lot of with not a lot of uh of power so yeah i mean the um the Miller and Kreisel THX that I had in house, man, those were like they the frequency response. The low end was like seventy five hertz, and then yeah, but yeah. then they're like four ohm and they're like four hundred watts. They're like, yeah, give us like as much power as possible. Crazy, right? Exactly. Yeah. I I think that's it though. We I think you're starting to figure it out there because they don't want their uh, their speakers to distort, so they'd rather you not like have crazy bass coming out through them. Yeah. Right. No. They expect but you to cross it over kinda, with a sub and then the sub should be able to handle all that. I kind of believe in the Jane Delasala school of thought of, you know, you let your subwoofers produce the bass. I don't really see a need for, if you have a bunch of subwoofers, why do you need towers that go down at 30 yards or whatever? I mean, it doesn't Ch- make sense to me. Chana's doing that in his living room right now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah exactly. I, I didn't scrap the Martin Logans, they're just in a different room. <laughs> but for the oh, most yeah. part, I'm like, let's get rid of these towers. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I mean, no, they're just, uh, yeah. they need to go back to Martin Logan. But like, I was just like, oh, oh my gosh. I, I, don't, know you didn't, I didn't know you didn't own them. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they've just been here for like a year and a half or something. Oh, ball, um, ball but, <laughs> you know, when Joe did his, uh, you know, his magic bean settings, he got the subwoofer working so well. With the with yeah. the towers, I was just like, oh, I don't need towers. You still have, those, you still have that Rel Predator or whatever. Is that what it was? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I have two of those. Yeah, 
and you got them stacked on top of each other, right? Yeah, and so they're just daisy chain, nothing like fancy. But uh, yeah. the the what do you call it? He got those things flat to like that was a way below twenty. Yeah, so I mean, let's just say safe down to sixteen. Yeah, safe, you know, down safe to easy. And you know, yeah, I, I have good. to I have to go somewhere, and so like I know that the teenager oh, yeah. is going to be in the living room. So I went ahead and took that subwoofer level down like halfway. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> just, oh yeah, just, just in case, just in case he gets crazy with the volume button. Um, well, that's kind of issue I have is I got my mini DSP running hot for movies, and then when I put a song on, I'm like, oh shit, the whole house is fall over. Yeah, it'll sure. happen. I, I I know I know that uh I know that that problem. Yeah, Here's, <laughs> but I don't want to go into the mini ESP and change that stuff. So I just deal with it. I just don't turn it up a lot. Here's real quick. Here's another clip speaker that I measured from for a client in room. So this is it before I touched anything. So I, we measured near the speaker, which is in red. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I I could find exactly which one it was, but I'm like, whoa, what the that, what is that? What is that? That's yeah, like really. 1K, like this? starts falling off around 1500. This is real close, right? Real close to the speaker. And then um, here's another measurement. Uh, so this is an average of the left and right, right? Because it was so weird. I'm like, no, nah, we got to do the right. I want to see if this is, a, uh, oh, the right one's actually doing that too. So, uh, and then I did one at the listening position. And that's the huh. measurement that you get. That's, so, like, so, this, so that's this, what the room like did to it? Gets undone? Yeah. So weird. What What speaker is that? Uh, I I'd, I'd have to look it up in my text, but it's a Klipsch. I don't know if it's a floor standard or a bookshelf. Yeah. I so like that look, look I mean, like that dip I mean, moved over. A joke about old men loving clip speakers because they can't hear the highs as well anymore, and so they. <laughs> <laughs> so they want that horn shouting at him. Hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. Let's. Yeah, exactly. I can tell you, huh? But yeah, that's interesting. The room made that dip. Uh, is, move that over rise, a few is that rise at, at what is that? Seventy hertz? Is that just in-room response? Is that rise at seventy that? hertz. This? Yeah. So yeah, this that's, is that's at, in-room. Yeah. So this is at the listening position, right? So yeah, right. this this is caused by the room. Yeah. I mean, it's not yeah, like it wasn't there though. This is already rising in the near. Yeah, it was yeah. nearby, or near field, I guess you could call it. But it it's and definitely those- up higher. And those dips are those are just the nulls, right? Uh yeah. Talking about these, yeah. some kind of cancellation going on. Right. Yeah, I have a huge problem with nulls in my room. But my room is square and it's small. Oh, okay. So so I try to overcompensate by turning up the subwoofer a lot, but I don't know how great that is for it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Weird weird. Anyway, let me get that off the scope. Anyways. Well guys. Talk yeah. to you next week. All right. Hey, thanks <laughs> yeah, for calling. Yeah. I guess we got to wrap up in an hour and a half. We got, yeah, at least yeah. we got one. Take call. care, man. Take it easy. Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi. And you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. <laughs>